Uh, our next question, in some states we are seeing a lot of officers lose their jobs due to the COVID ma mandates, not complying. What are your thoughts? Would you fire an officer in your department if they don't comply? You know, I like to talk about the COVID mandates, okay? I like to talk about most anything. We obviously, and I want to underscore that COVID is real and it's dangerous and it's deadly. But a lot of this world's gone nuts over that. And here's what we did here at the Sheriff's Office and by and large throughout Florida. Why the world was all hunkered down behind mask and then double mask and then staying home and drawing your kids out of school and all this craziness that occurred. We took a common sense approach. I said, look, when the vaccine becomes available, because I talked to my doctor and he said, take it. I've got a lot of friends that are physicians and I ask every one of them, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Every one of them said unequivocally, take the vaccine. And I did. And I took the next vaccine. And I took the booster. Because I believed that it would help. Now, I had one person say, well, Sheriff, you don't know what it will do to you in 10 years. I go, well, you're right. I don't. But I want to be alive to find out. I encourage my folks, look, I recommend you take the COVID shot. But let me make one thing abundantly clear. That's your personal health decision, not mine. From day one, long before there was a COVID shot, I will never impose a requirement on you to take this shot. Never. I'll provide you educational material. I'll provide you the best information I know. I won't require you to take the shot, period. For the, for the mask use, do I think the mask work? I don't know if they work, but I know they don't hurt. So we made mask optional in the business environment. We obviously quit having people come into our building as normal. We put a lot of COVID protocols in place. We mandated with, if there was an arrest, we put a mask on the person to be arrested and the deputy wore a mask while they were having a stranger in the car. We mandated in the jails where they're face to face with people that we, that we wore masks. We also created a lot of infrastructure where when people came to the jail that we could put them in a separate area for up to 14 days before they went into population. So we did all those safety and security things, but it is wrong, wrong, wrong for government to tell individuals to take a vaccine that has not stood the long-term test of time, that has been rushed to the market. Do I believe in the vaccine from everything I've read? Yes. Did I take it? Yes. Does it work? I think it has, because I can tell you, I've not had COVID. And last summer, in four weeks, I had three direct exposures. One of the people that I was directly exposed to that I ate breakfast with at a Florida Sheriff's meeting, I came home, I walked out of the, first off, I walked out of the hall with him. I noticed he had a little trouble breathing. I thought, well, he's got some COPD going on because he was an older fellow. I read the next week, he was dead a week <laughs> later from COVID. <clears throat> Then one of, one of my staff members was filling in for the chief of department who was on vacation, sat next to me for a week. He went home with COVID, was very sick for about a month. I had my, another of my staffers that sat beside me while we worked on projects all Friday afternoon before she called me Friday night and go, I don't feel good, I'm at the hospital. I had direct exposures. I believe the reason I didn't get COVID is because I had the shot. But listen to me, folks. It's your body. You get to make those medical decisions. The government doesn't. And I will, as I said before, and I, you know, I don't chew my cabbage twice. When I say something, I mean it. If I didn't mean it, I wouldn't say it. And if I make a mistake, I'll apologize. But I'm not apologizing for not 
mandating the vaccine. Now, I had a lot of these media outlets, you know, I call them chirpers. You know, they came in and go, oh, you need to make the, well, are you making the mandate? Are you making them? And I go, no, just go on. We're not mandating anything. I encourage it. I educate. It's their decision. It's their life. 